This video is going to show how to calibrate the Delta robot, and it all starts with Internet Explorer. So open that up on the desktop, and you type in 192.168.0.1, and once you're on the main page, you go to Vision Setup link as shown by the arrow. Make sure you're in Camera Calibration Tools. Once you are there, go ahead and make a new calibration tool and give it any name you like. Hit OK. Then double click on the tool you just made. Okay, now that we're in setup calibration, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have the correct camera selected. That would be the Sony camera. And now we want to play around with the exposure time so we can make sure the image comes in clearly. As you can see, it is not lined up with the camera right now. So what we want to do is we want to go and hit the green monitor button. That gives us a live feed. And we can go and move the calibration grid into view properly, as is shown here. Once you're done, go ahead and hit the red monitor button, and that brings you back, and it actually snaps a photo, which is what you want to do once the calibration grid is correctly set up. Then we're going to want to choose a user frame, and we can choose any user frame from 3 to 8. For this video, we're going to choose frame 6. Then you're going to want to enter in the grid spacing. I believe this one was 20 millimeters, but it's written on the calibration grid frame. We also want to make sure that our application frame is the same number as our calibration grid frame. In this case, that number will be 6. Then you're going to want to override the focal distance to 16 millimeters, then hit set frame, then hit find. And once you hit find, this box will appear and make sure the box is covering completed dots. Doesn't matter if it's all the dots, just make sure that they're all complete dots. Then hit OK, and then it should put crosshairs over each dot. The large dots will have blue crosshairs and other dots will have green crosshairs. Then you should make sure that your settings are all correct according to the manual, and then hit save. And it's done. 